Hi there, this is Eddie English here from Sale Cork and I'm going to tell you a little about uh, the forthcoming Powerboat course and we have a series of five short videos and this first one here now is telling you about Sale Cork, uh, where we are, what we do and a little about the syllabus of the course that you are about to embark on. I'm very lucky. I've been driving motorboats or powerboats for all my life. Um, my father had a motorboat uh, from the time I was about 10 or 11 years of age, and we haven't looked back since. And, well, there's an awful lot to powerboats, so we're going to go through some of it. Just to let you know, first of all, that Sail Cork, we've been around since 1974. So we're doing power boating since the early 90s and um, still very involved. I'm actually the national trainer for Ireland in power boating. A lot more instructors, that's just some of the senior instructors that are involved with us at Sail Cork. But if we put all the instructors together, we'll see that there's a huge amount of skills there. We have a master mariner and a harbour pilot. We have yacht master instructors and examiners cruising instructors, we have environmental scientists, teachers, we have a tall ship skipper, Arlen Lyhelm. Um, you can see the rest of them yourselves there, folks. You can see that there's a great deal of experience when we're all brought together, and we want to pass that experience and those skills on to you. Our base is at East Ferry Marina at the eastern end of Cork Harbour. If you're coming from the city, we're off the M25 via Fota and through the island, and we're East Ferry Cove as opposed to East Ferry Middleton. Um, P24D681 is the code uh, to get to us, and you may take a number of those routes. And that introduces us to Cork Harbour, and you can see some of the waters of Cork Harbour that we ply on the courses. The marina itself is in a great location and East Ferry is very sheltered. When you drive into East Ferry Marina, there was the Marlogue in there, that's gone now. Uh, but our building is, as you arrive in, on your right hand side, you'll find parking. There's some boats parked down there, but you'll find parking further down here. And we will meet you at our building uh, at the entrance to the car park. And um, make sure that uh, you're not blocking a boat when you park your cars. As I mentioned, our classroom is Cork Harbour. And I'll give you two websites, eoceanic.com, write that one down for yourselves. And eoceanic is a pilot book, and it gives you details of various places around the country and indeed the UK. This is very, very useful if you're going to a place or wanting to get to know a place better, and it's free. So I would say to you, go on to that site and look up East Ferry Marina in it, and you'll see dozens of photographs and pictures and navigational information about East Ferry. And it'll give you sort of a jump start on what we're doing at the weekend. So it's a free online pilot book, and it's really, really useful. This is looking at Cork Harbour from uh, above Cove, looking at Hall Bolin Island, Spike Island, and Roaches Point at the entrance to Cork Harbour, Crosshaven being here and Whitegate here. And at the end of every powerboat course, we do a tour of the harbour. So you'll be seeing a lot of these places. This is looking at the harbour from the other side. It's looking inwards from Roaches Point and looking at the forts, Camden and Carlisle, looking at Spike with Cove in the background, and then Ringeskiddy with Hall Bolden before it, and the River Lee up towards Cork. Um, there's another site that I'll give you, and that will give you charts. It's called Navionics, N-A-V-I-O-N-I-C-S, navionics.com. And that's a really amazing site, giving you free charts 
of anywhere in the world. So log on to Navionics.com and you have to go to Chart Viewer. I have done and still do run powerboat courses up and down the country and we can travel uh, to locations if there's a group of people and run courses in that location. Now we have the powerboat stuffs. First of all is to keep you safe and to have you enjoying your courses, but to teach you safety as well. And of course, what we want to be able to do is explore and discover. We use, um, we have a Narwhal 3.9 tiller steered. You're probably all going to see that. We have three Humber assaults with 50 horsepower in the back of them. That's what we're going to be mainly using. To be covering on your courses will be the introduction to power boating along with the National Power Boat Cert. Now, I'm going to go into those in, in more detail in a moment. But once you've those done, we strongly advise that you do a navigation course, a short navigation course. Um, this essential navigation course can be done over three evenings or four evenings. Um, a VHF radio course can be done over an evening and a day. And we strongly advise those um, before you move any further. If you wish, you can do a full navigation course, but they're not available until the winter months. Uh, <clears throat> the safety boat cert is something that people graduate on towards, and that's of great interest to anybody involved in a club, a rowing club or a sailing club or some kayak club or something like that, where you're looking after other boats. Uh, we run safety boat courses on a regular basis. And the intermediate powerboat course is really for somebody who's got a bigger powerboat that's capable of, uh, of going to see something that's probably six meters plus and you want to get more use out of your boat um, and mix it in with a bit of high speed navigation. That's the course for you. Before going on to do the advanced powerboat cert, you would be advised to do a more detailed navigation course such as the day skipper. And the advanced powerboat course does everything that the intermediate does, but it also does navigating at high speed at night. So there's a hell of a lot uh, in getting all that far, but we run all those courses. And indeed we run special courses for uh, instructors at all levels as well. Now, our object. Now, the introduction to powerboating, which is included in the course, uh, is a one day course was taken on our own, but we always marry it to the National Power Boat Cert, so it's part of that. And there's launching of a boat, boat handling, and use of safety equipment, preparing the boat, launch and recovery, some high speed maneuvers, anchoring, mooring, coming alongside, uh, basic weather safety personal and crew safety, and very importantly, crew duties and look out. Because all of us should be good crews if we want to be good helms. Um, so the crew duties and lookout duties are of vital importance in a powerboat. Now the National Powerboat Cert, as you can see, we'll be going over some of the things that are done in the, um, everything that's done in the intro low and high speed skills. We want to know about the collision regulations and we'll be covering those this evening. We want to make you self-sufficient power boater in the right conditions and you want to be aware of your limitations and of your craft. So you and your crew and of your craft. That's very, very important. So again, boat prep, launch and recovery, stopping, reversing, turning, mooring, anchoring, docking, towing, holding off, man overboard recovery, and knowing where the pivot point is. And at the very end of the first day, we will introduce some of the high speed maneuvers to get the boat planing, turning, and man overboard recovery. We will begin this evening with covering some basic navigation with uh, the weather and coastal navigation rules and personal and crew safety. 
There are various endorsements which the instructor will explain to you uh, as the course is ongoing. And one very important thing is that if you achieve the National Powerboat Cert, which is achievable by those who've got a powerboating background coming on to this course, but everybody coming on to the course will achieve the, um, the basic level, the intro to powerboating. But those with experience can achieve the National Powerboat Cert. Once you achieve the National Powerboat Cert, that gives you the right to apply for an international powerboat cert, um, which is just a paperwork trail. And again, your instructor will explain more about that. The intermediate powerboat course, as I explained, is an expansion of everything that you've done on the national powerboat course, but there's a lot of navigation and um, safety involved in that as well. The safety boat cert is all about looking after other boats being an escort boat, how to handle uh, capsized dinghies, um, kayaks full of water, um, rowboats that have capsized, all that sort of thing uh, is included in the safety boat cert. And as I said, the advanced power boat cert is navigation to the top level, but navigating at night at high speed. So there are the various uh, courses. So for the introduction to powerboating and the National Powerboat Cert, um, we we'll talk about the course materials and talk about what we're going to do. On arrival, we'll register you. And um, please be aware, um, we've given you where the park, car parking is, but please wear masks and um, Please cleanse your, your, your hands when you arrive. Your instructor will fit you out with kit. If you need extra kit, fine. But if, if you have your own kit, come prepared with it and be ready to put it on because we'll only be doing a briefing ashore. We don't go into the classroom ashore due to COVID restrictions. And tonight we'll be covering most of the background theory anyway. Once you're kitted, we go and either explain the launch and recovery or else do the launch of the boat. But before we go anywhere, we will explain the controls and of the vessel. And then we'll do some low speed exercises uh, before breaking for lunch. We'll have a look at uh, some chart work and then more exercises before finishing up with high speed and doing towing, and there's some secrets to towing that we're going to share with you. On our second, so at the end of the first day, we will give you a little test, a little exam to take home with you and complete at home to ensure that we have covered all the material with you. And well, we'll ask you to do it without the book, but then you can correct it with the book. So you'll come in in the morning and you'll have it all correct for our briefing and we will make sure you know all the right answers. We then cover the background skills, we'll revise your slow speed um, maneuvers and then we're going to go on a harbour trip where we're going to execute a lot of the maneuvers and exercises that we've done. We we'll lunch at a destination, a harbour side uh, destination and we'll see Cork Harbour and try and explain to you some of the bits and pieces about the harbour and places where you can go. We'll be traveling 15 to 18 miles and then we'll have a debriefing. And at the end of the day, we'll point you in the right, right direction to move on. So let me explain the routes that people might take um, if they're coming on board to do the National Powerboat Cert. I'm gonna start over on the right hand side of the page. So if it's somebody with they're a complete beginner with no real experience, only a small bit of experience maybe, and not, not access to a boat. Um, there's a pre-course session, which we're doing now, then the two day course uh, on the water. And then we might ask you to get some extra time on the water with ourselves with Sail Cork, or if you've got your own boat, 
um, on your own boat. And once you've some experience and time on the water, which is vital, you then come back for a one day upgrade um, with us in Sail Cork. Now we'll explain the price of that to you at a later stage. This one is the very same thing, except it's somebody who's got their own boat and they're going to go driving it for about eight hours uh, before coming back to get the certificate. For those who have a fair bit of experience, um, we would say that you would do the online session, the two day course and meet the assessment standards and then you receive the National Powerboat Cert. Now that you've learned from the video, we have some questions for you. So you will have to answer a number of questions on the video here.